Aymana from VRNet, and we automatically convert 3D models into virtual reality. Imagine you are an architect, and you have created that amazing project. And now you start to show it to your clients, and you show them your sketches, your layouts, and even your 2D photo renders, but they still don't get anything. They keep asking you more and more questions, and they keep asking you for more and more amendments in the project. And this is the point when you not only feel frustrated. This is the point when you start to lose your time and money. We solve this problem and automatically convert your projects into virtual reality experiences where you could walk around, fill the space, the distances, the highs of the room, like in real life. Why our clients also love us is because now they spend up to four to six weeks in order to manually convert 3D models into VR. And with us, they will do this automatically in real time. Also, we have developed our own 3D engine, which allows us to convert and show models on smartphones and on the web, which are up to 10 to 20 times bigger than those ones that our competitors convert. We have 15 customers, including one from top 10 construction companies in Europe, operating here in Nordics. And also, we are working for already a year uh, with the biggest real estate listing in Ukraine on our lightweight product. And we will be converting 10,000 apartments the coming year with them. And uh, several hundred thousand apartments till 2020, which we have already agreed for. We have $35,000 revenue generated so far, and over 200 um, customers waiting in the pipeline for our automated solution. Our business model is a package-based subscription but for now, we work on a project-to-project -project basis because not the whole product is fully automated yet. There is 1.8 million registered architects in the world, and this means $4.3 billion market for us. In our team, we have not only strong development expertise, but also business development experience. And we have raised $120,000 in order, and um, we have pushed our product from two weeks conversion to three days conversion, and we are now testing our alpha with this. And we are raising 500 to expand our marketing reach, brand awareness, open sales offices in major European cities, and fully automate the product. I'm Anna from VRNet. We automatically convert 3D CAD models into virtual reality. And if you know any architects, interior designers, or real estate developers, please reach me out. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Let's move on to the questions straight away. Sure. So, so do you integrate into CAD software like ArchiCAD and Revit and stuff like that? Or do you have to export first and then upload into your software? Uh, yeah, we work with 3ds Max, ArchiCAD, SketchUp, Revit, like uh, the major programs with which architects work. And actually, what we are doing is these are plugins for this, uh, like for this software. And yeah, they export this to our cloud where the magic happens. And then you got the applications for smartphones, for PCs, and the walkthrough for the web, which you could embed into your website, like a YouTube video. So do you already have the integration done, like into some of those CAD software? Uh, for now. Uh, we have, like, uh, this is not yet automatic, and the thing is that we are yet testing our tools internally, and they convert, but then we found, find some bugs in uh, the process of working with our clients, and we are kind of fixing them. So right now you have to export and then import into your tool. And, and what, what do you need to do in your tool? Like, uh, like add textures and lights and stuff like that, or...? Yeah, uh, the, uh, our tool, let's say, it's a 3D engine which displays all this. And we take all the textures, the materials, and all the geometry from the existing model and export, like, export all this and import it into our software like, like it was. There are some things with the lightning, because it's a little bit different in 3ds Max, let's say, in the, in the 3D engine. But uh, we will give uh, designers the tools to adjust it if uh, something went like, Thank you. not like they have expected. Um, who are your competitors? Yeah, uh, we have um, 
we have uh, several types of competitors. Uh, now virtual reality has become so popular that every fourth architecture firm is uh, delivering it to their clients. But for now, their conversion process is manual and it takes like four or six weeks for a model. And we hope that these ones will be our customers in the future. But also we have uh, Inside VR, Iris VR, QBT, like first two are in the US, the story is in France, and they already convert automatically, but uh, they convert into existing 3D engines like Unity or Unreal. And the thing is that um, uh, the, we have tailored our 3D engine for architecture mainly, and uh, we have like better quality and it's good for sales. But uh, as the quality is not that good in their services, they target more for the stage when architects collaborate with each other and they don't need the good quality, but they need to kind of show the space to each other. So we have a little bit different target. So, so you created the 3D engine from scratch. It's not based on Unity or anything like that. Uh, yes. It's okay. So, so, so maybe, uh, are, is there a risk that they're trying to do too much? Because I mean, creating a 3D engine, that's a lot of work. And also creating the, I mean, yeah, essentially you could sell to the, the uh, Iris and, and to Cubity and those. Uh, yeah, we could think about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was going to ask a bit of the same because it sounds like you're, you're uh, having quite a lot of work. Uh, are, are you uh, uh, measuring how well you are doing all of that? I, I mean, have, have your customers given you feedback that they really are happy with everything? Yes. Uh, let's say uh, the customers that I mentioned, one from top 10 construction companies here in Europe, they tested like all their solutions on the market and they stuck with our one. And the question is that for other solutions, you have to have the strong, like, powerful PC plus a headset to show it, but with us you could show it with a smartphone. And for architects, it's like much lower barrier. And all, all right, sounds, Anna. sounds super cool, I will, I will try it. Uh, okay. All right, Thank guys, you. we have to move on. Thank you, VRNet, and welcome, Silk.